Hello, hello, this is Mystic. This is Mystic, yes, let's get right in it. So today, I come to you today in the energies where somebody is using children to try to stay relevant. People don't want to be bothered with people no more. And now they want to use children as pawns. How petty of Patricia. Okay. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we want to know. Who are these people using children as pawns to try to stay relevant? Yes. Holy Spirit, what is that about? We would like to know. What is that about? Yes. Someone is in a Queen of Swords energy. However... This one is in a queen of swords energy in reverse. And she's emotionally imbalanced woman. However, this woman may be wise, but she used it to the wrong reasons. This person put sorrows in people's life. She put grief and conflict in people's life. This is one that likes drama. She likes to be all up and through people's business. It's not her lifestyle to just mind her business and do her no she kind of cause drama everywhere she go this is the person that we dealing with what other characteristics is this person that we talking about holy spirit okay so this person here is in an energy where they are the ace of cups in reverse yes honey they are not showing strength strength courage or truth this person falls and break under pressure. They cannot deal with adversity. This person don't know how to talk to people. They always verbally attacking people. This person does not have any mental clarity. They lie all the time and don't show the truth. This person is fucked up in troubling times. When one is fucked up, oh, they sticks the knife deep in and comes in with their verbal attacks in their mean, hateful ways. What is the other energies? Okay, so this other person is in the energy of the Ten of Cups in reverse. This person is broken in a bag of glass in the trash. The bonds that they built with people, they are not stable. They do not have no harmony. Their future is in an uproar. They don't build with people. They take away from people. They have problems with overcoming adversity. And blessings are not in this person's favor for the fucked up ways that they treated people. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, I come to you today. I come to you in the energy of knowing. We would like to know, Holy Spirit, like what is the characteristics of this person and why are they using children as pawns? Okay, so the first card that wanted to come out, this person is a psycho Susan. They always in the energy where they acting crazy. They never think rationally. And there's always some drama with Psycho Susan. She's always in the energy where she's never satisfied. And she always want to start drama because she's insecure. And Divine Masculine is in the energy where he's saying, I had enough of this bullshit. This bitch is crazy. I am really living my life in a fucking... I'm living my life in a... uh. What is that movie where the crazy lady burnt the little... um, Put the pup, put the... uh. The rabbit in the... Oh, yes. I'm living a fatal attraction kind of situation with this comic. And the my masculine is in the energy where he's trying to leave. And every time he try to leave, this comic is using kids as a pawn. Yes. And that is the inside scoop on this relationship. Yes. That's what's going on. We got people over here using children as pawns because they feel like they need more money, honey. So this one over here, we talk about this comic that may have lost her job or something to that effect. So she feel like she need more money from the divine masculine. And this is why she is using children 
as a pawn. How else is she using children to pawn? Because the bitch can't make sound decisions because she always intoxicated and drunk. She need money to fuel her own selfish needs. Yes. This one is always in the energy where she living a facade. She living that life where she makes things look like it's all grits and gravy online. But this one over here is living on struggle street. Okay, this is the energy of that person. Meanwhile, Divine Feminine is in the energy where she's diversifying herself. She has sat there and she took a self-reflection, honey, and she's getting herself together. I had to think about my actions. Think about what's best for me. Think about how I am going to move in life. And guess what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to think about it and I'm going to put it into fruition. Yes. Mm. And these fake people that don't want to see your manifestations coming to fruition, they are fake. And you got a lot of fake people around you, divine feminine, that don't want you to don't want to see you win. This is the fake don't want to see you win card. Yes. Mm. And divine feminine saying, you can hate on me all you want to, baby. I hate nothing about you calming. I hate nothing about the you divine masculine. I just hate your fucked up ways. I don't hate nothing about you. I forgave you for the magic. I forgave you for being a hater. That's just in your nature to do what you do, darling. We're going to let the divine deal with you and your big ego and your low IQ. See, what you didn't know was you was dealing with divine feminine. You thought you, you was dealing with divine feminine. You thought you was dealing with an average bitch like you. Hmm. But when my ancestors came for your ass, you knew what my name was. And you also knew that my ancestors was big gangster and don't fuck with me. Yes, this one is living in a big ego, but she dumb as dishwater because she got a low IQ. Okay. Staring in my face, trying to take my place. Hater, you should wish me love. It really ain't my fault that I'm a fucking boss. I pay it all costs. Hater, you should wish me love. Darling, you should wish me love because you putting too much energy in me. Instead of putting too much energy in me, you should be putting that same energy into yourself. Because you see me over here winning. I ain't thinking about nobody else. Divine Feminine is over here putting her energy into Divine Feminine. Mm. Niggas wrong. Let it go. I think you need to let it go. Niggatron, niggatron. It looks like an... And if anyone don't know what a niggatron is, okay? So I know that you guys seen the Terminator. And you know, the Terminator had the BT-2000. So when we think of the karmic... We think of the B2-3000. And that's the special edition. It's called the Niggertron edition of the B2-2000. Yes. This Niggertron don't know how to act. She's going through malfunctions because she's figuring like she's been cloned. She's been replaced by another comic. Yes. So now she's in the energy where she's doing GPS and upping people. Yay. Yeah. Because that same energy that she put you in where someone was cheating on her and she was playing in your DMs and all those things, it's being done to her. Because this one was confronted by another comic. Yes. This is why I had to move. Yes. This is why I stay in that energy where you want to pull up on me. It's OV. Test the patience of me. It's OV. Test the patience of me, it's OV. Better drop down to your knees, it's OV. It's over. It's OV, Carmen. It's over. Why don't you just try to give it up? Mm-hmm. Why don't you do this? Staring in my face, trying to take my place. Hater, you should wish me love. It really ain't my fault. The divine feminine is a fucking boss. She pay it all costs. Hater, you should wish me love. Yes, Divine Feminine often addressed her crown. So, Hater, you should just go ahead and wish her love. Go ahead. She already winning. She already shining. Her dreams are coming into fruition. Just go ahead and wish her love. 
but you're going to consider, you're going to continue being a hater because you lack self-discipline. You don't know how to be a real woman. When you lost, admit that you lost to a real woman. Bow down, bitch. And stop using kids as a pawn. You're not relevant anymore. The man wants to deal with his kids. He don't want to deal with your scandalous ass. So don't, don't, don't sing it, ho. You better bring it, ho. Or don't you sing it, ho. You better bring it, ho. Because I'm the bitchy. The bitchy, bitchy. The bitchy, bitchy. The bitchy, bitchy, bitchy. You love the hate. Yeah, this is the... I have learned my lesson from these haters. They want to be me. So continue to do me haters. Says Divine Feminine, yeah. Talk about the feminine, know she, how she hustle. Climbing from the bottom, sick and tired of struggle. Word around town, she don't fuck with you. Word around town, you got comic blues. Word around town, yeah, that's the town. Word around town, and she treat you like an unknown. Who? Divine Master, who? I, I'm sorry. I suffer from short-term memory loss. I don't know a divine masculine. I'm so I'm so sorry. I I I'm sorry I can't help ma'am, sir, I can't help you. I'm sorry. I have no idea of what you're saying. <laughs> I don't I don't know a divine masculine. I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm sorry, sir. I've never seen him, never laid eyes on him. And I definitely don't know anything about a karma. I don't know anything about a karmic because I'm living my life right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm an empress, darling. I don't know about backstabbing. I don't know about betraying people because that's not something that I want to do. That's not something that I do. I don't, I don't, I'm not like the karmic. I'm not trying to bow myself to a man just simply because I have kids by him. That's what you hater karmic bitches do. Yes, that's what you do. Yes. I am too busy in a, you're too egotistical person. This is why you in an energy where you're using children as pawns because you still want to feel relevant. Just face it, he don't want you anymore. Just face it. I got over it. I faced it that he wanted to be with you, the sneaky bitch. I got, I got when that he wanted to be with you, the bitch that was an energy vampire. I left it alone when you wanted to be a cyber bully. And wanted to send your hater messages to me. You know what I'm saying? I got over it. You know, but a bitch like you don't know when to sit your ass down. It ain't your time. It's time for you to sit your ass down. That ain't for you. Hmm. Now, see, you want to be in the energy where you want to hurt someone. If you call Divine Masculine Job and get him fired, you won't get no child support. This one is in the energy because she's using kids as fun and people don't want to be bothered with her. Now she's telling people she's going to call your job and get him fired. This is what she want to do to Divine Masculine, but I feel like that's a dumb move, Carmen, because you want to call Divine Masculine and get him fired and stop your money? Scatterbrain. That don't make too much sense. She's in the energy where she don't care, darling, dear. She wants to destroy everything because she knows Divine Masculine wants to still be with you. And this is why she's still in an energy where she wants to destroy and take. Because she feels like Divine Masculine... Excuse me. See, now it's not doing nothing. It's not doing nothing. I live my life without a, a mouse. Sorry, excuse me, people. This is a mess. I do not know how to work this thing with my hands. I never was mechanically inclined for this thing. Like, I don't know. My fingers don't act right for me to drag and click and cut and paste from off of my finger. I got to use a mouse. Sorry. But anyway, yes. This one over here is mad because now she's in that same energy where divine, men, divine masculine was baiting her face and her and behind her back, everybody else's back. So now she want to stay relevant and to be and be divine masculine's bay again. Yeah. Oh, and my fingers is ashy. Please excuse my hands. I can see the ashy there, but excuse, excuse me, people. Sorry. Um. Yes. These people is in the energy where yeah, they in the energy where that same energy where they wanted to be bay. 
and he was everybody else's babe, now they mad. And now they also in the energy where they feeling that they blood mad. They got blood on their hands, honey, from the magic and the evil, hateful things that they did to each other. Because divine masculine is telling them game over for their uh bad motives. Divine masculine is telling them game over from the magic from him and his friends. Divine masculine is saying game over for you wanting to do beauty spells and magic. Game over to you always want to gossip and talk about people. Game over to your ass wanting to hawk and stalk and be in people's business and be a damn manipulator. Oh, and I ain't forgot about your drugs. I ain't forgot about your sex magic and all the things that you do, your tantric sex. And I ain't forgot about your lies that you tell me in your bisexual energies of wanting to be with females. I didn't forget about none of that karmic, says divine magic. Yes, it's saying block magic is present in our black magic. I said block magic. Black magic is present in our relationship, says Divine Masculine. So Divine Masculine has an inkling about this black magic. Hmm. Divine Masculine is in the energy where he's saying, bitch, you're fired. Go get some rest with your trash box ass. So now Divine Masculine is being very, very, very disrespectful to the comic. Yes, he's in the energy where he like, fuck you, ho. I see you over here parking, watching all in my, my business. You ain't gonna do nothing but take my child support money and go buy some bundles of hair. You ain't gonna spend that money on my child. Yes, opinions are like assholes. Some stink more than others, said Divine Masculine. Mm. And he also saying you drunk bitch You always in that energy where you drinking You is drinking You in the energy where you think you drinking But you ain't taking care of my youngest You drunk bitch So that's the energy that, that she is in And he saying yeah comic I know you stalked me I know you stalked me Mmm Cause you's a MF and comic. What else do you got to say? Oh, and Divine Masculine wants it to be known by, excuse me, spiritual bells, those actions that you keep having, I'm extra triggered by your, excuse me, I am extra triggered by your actions. You habitual line stepper. You always stepping over lines like your ass is Super Mario Brothers and wanna goddamn switch lanes. Stop that bullshit comic. I already know about it. Mm. So what our divine want us to know is someone is over here going broke doing these beauty spells because this is I am broke spending all my money on spells to get ahead. What else is going on over there in the comic community? Me and my gay friend have sex from time to time. I think he burnt me. Who knows? Comic. Divine masculine. See, this is the type of thing that put sexually the diseases out in the universe. When people clearly say, I have sex with my gay friend from time to time. I think he burnt me. What kind of shit is that? If you're supposed to be in a relationship with somebody, why is you having sex with anybody without a, re a condom on? Like this right here that really rubs my rhubarb. They some soul shakers. They shaking, hating. Yes. They too busy worrying about my glow up. Y'all need to be worrying about these goddamn STDs that you got. You need to understand. You need to make love to your hand. You don't need no penis, honey. You need to play with yourself like it owe you money. I'm trying to figure out like why is y'all still doing these things? I have sex with my gay friend. I mean, like, that is stuck in my head. These people have not learned their lesson, Divine Family, since you kicked their ass out of your apartment or your uh, domicile. They have got worse. They have got worse. And this is the uh, my way or the highway. Yeah, these attitudes with this person have gotten worse. However, it's not being controlled anymore with the magic. 
It's not being controlled anymore with the dirt dating. It's not being controlled anymore with the third parties because this person is still acting shady. They still up to their same shit. They still copycatting you because they feel like they got played. And Divine Feminine is still in the energy where she's staying in her lane. And these haters is going crazy because of it. They are in the energy where they saying, you separated me from my friends and family comic. This is what you did. And now you in the energy where, huh? You in the energy where Divine Masculine is saying he want to beat your ass. This is the, I don't hit women, but you make me want to fuck you up. That's what he's saying. You and the bullshit that you do make me want to bankrank you upside your head. And this person that Divine Masculine is talking about is a water sign. A Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. This is a distorted feminine. This distorted feminine is in the energy where I will depend on my higher self to move forward even if my path is unknown. And this came in reverse. Mm. However, she's still in the energy where she's getting tarot reads from the T and she's all up in her feelings because you willing. You winning. So, someone is... um. Getting going to tarot reads from the for the tea and the tea that they get in, they all up in their feelings because the other person is winning. And divine feminine saying, Yeah, bitch, you find out I'm winning, and you always got shit to say. Sneak this and we'll get your teeth missing. So you need to close your mouth. Sneak this and we'll get your teeth missing, and you need to close your mouth. Yes. And she's saying, yeah, I'm going to close my mouth. I got something for your ass. I'm going to the altar to go whip up another, uh, another batch of magic. So, yeah, Divine Feminine, this one is all up in your business because this one is a power hungry. And they know that you are what? You are powerful, Divine Feminine, and they want to bring you down. Yes. This is an obsessive lover. She's obsessed that divine masculine do not want her. She's obsessed that she has to use the child. And divine feminist saying, bitch, get your ass off the Nile Street. Hmm. You got kitty. That's why your kids over there fucking up and acting in a fucked up manner. Because you too busy minding somebody's business and chasing a man that you want to. Get off of that street called Denial, bitch. And go take care of your goddamn kitty car thieves. You know, those little badass kids that be on the goddamn train cussing and being disrespectful while grown people around. Yeah, the little badass kids that be on the goddamn green line smoking weed and shit. Yeah, we talk about them little badass kids. Them little badass kids that be hopping the train cussing and using all these foul languages in front of grown people. It's even seen the little boy that I had to get in his shit. You see a whole got that going full of elderly people. You see the damn sign right here say, seat is reserved for those with disabilities and senior citizens. This little motherfucker set his ass down, cock deuced his feet in the motherfucking seat and said, fuck y'all old people. And he said that too. Fuck y'all old people. I paid my money on the train just like y'all did. I'm like, excuse me, it, that don't have nothing to do with it, sir. These little boy, I didn't say sir, little boy, that right there say this is for people with disabilities and this is for elderly people. This is not for you and your feet. That is disrespectful. You didn't pay for two chairs. I said, now how would you feel if somebody did your grandmother like that? Oh, nobody want to do my grandmother like that because my grandmother got a car. Just ignorant shit. But I'm about to get off of that. If you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe. Because that right there just pissed me off. And then, it's like all the adults around you see these kids over here fucking up. And nobody won't say nothing to him. Oh, no, not Mr. Um, excuse me, little boy. Uh-huh. What, what, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Now, you know that's wrong. Now, you know that if your grandmother or your mama seen you acting like this, they wouldn't like it. Because this could be your grandmama or your mama. Would you like somebody to treat your mama or your grandmother like that? And they was like, well, she's not on the train. My grandmother drive. Okay, well, get away from your grandmother job. We talk about treating your grandmother disrespectfully. Would you like for somebody to do that? Oh, I'm always with my grandmother. You're not with your grandmother now. 
I said, but the way that you acting, would you want somebody to treat your grandmother like that? And wouldn't you be mad if somebody treats your grandmother the way that you is? You are able-bodied, willing teenager that can stand up. This lady had a walker. Would you want somebody to treat your grandmother like that? Seriously. So I got up and I let the lady sit down. And then that's when he got up. And said that, I said, oh, I see your mama taught you some manners if you see a woman to get up. But you need to learn that these people are your elders. They've been here before you did. And you need to show them some kind of respect. And then he was like, you right. You right, ma'am. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to act that way. I said, okay. It's okay. It's okay to be sorry. But be careful. Just don't do that and be that way no more. I said, because when you be like that and you act like that, you only fucking it up for yourself. Yeah, you fucking it up for yourself because you receiving karma for treating the elder like crap. If you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe.